rest and kind of these like two starts for you? You know, I think with each passing day, I'm learning more about them. I just think that there's no substitute for a relationship. You go through something together, you learn about yourselves and each other. Um, and so it's just been a good process. Looking forward to it continuing. The Pittsburgh Steelers with a win over the Denver Broncos. The Steelers are now 2-0. and oh. So this is something that is nice to see. The first half was looking pretty good. I wouldn't say it was great. I wouldn't say it was exceptional, but it was looking pretty good. The second half, things just kind of fizzled. The Pittsburgh Steelers did hold the Denver Broncos, but they were getting to a point where it was getting very concerning. Now, Justin Fields was in there for Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is the actual Pittsburgh Steelers starter. And Coach Tomlin has a big decision to make this week. Does Russell Wilson stay on the bench and Justin Fields take that starting job? I don't think so. I don't think that Justin Fields has done enough to earn the starting position on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Coach Tomlin values the resume of Russell Wilson and all of his experience. And he gave him the starting job. And it was really his job to lose. Now, of course, he's had his injury with his calf muscle. And that is what has held him back from starting this season. Now, you can say that Justin Fields has won two games for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But the play that I've seen has not been at that exceptional point where I believe Coach Tomlin would just say, you know what, Justin Fields is the starter and Russell Wilson will sit on the bench and we're never going to know how well he would do in there. Now, Justin Fields is a lot younger. He doesn't have the experience of Russell Wilson. I still want to see Russell Wilson play. I don't know when he's going to be healthy enough to play, but I do want to see Russell Wilson out there. I want to see what the difference is with this Pittsburgh Steelers offense. It looked like the defense was getting tired in this game, and that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, you learn a lot in the first half. You learn a lot. You got halftime, and a lot of things are figured out and adjustments are made. The Pittsburgh Steelers needed to make some of those adjustments as well. Thank you for watching Still City News. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts and subscribe and hit that bell if you want up to date Pittsburgh Steelers news, talk and analysis. Thanks for watching.